What's going on guys? My name is ShadowGoo131 and we are back today with episode 22, I believe, of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. And we'll go ahead and start off with a team recap. If you guys did not see, we did just get destroyed by Howe in the last revival battle. But we've got ourselves a Dr. Sleep, uh, level 26 with Chip Away, Metronome, Holdback, and Happy Hour. Holding the Snorlium Z, but I still don't know how to use it. Zeke level 27 with Rock Tomb, Sand Attack, Bite, and Howl. And he's got Rocky and Z as well, which is Continental Crush, I believe. Sparky level 29 with Bug Bite, Spark, Mud Slap, and Crunch holding the Scope Lens. Skippy got to level 30 in the last episode with Aqua Jet, Bubble Beam, Baby Doll Eyes, and Disarming Voice, and Hydro Vortex because of his Water MZ. For Brawler, level 27 with Power Up Punch, Rock Smash, Bubble Beam, and Dizzy Punch, and All Out Pummeling with Fight to MZ. And Fred, level 26 with Ember, Flame Burst, Dragon Rage, and Smog, and I still cannot remember the name of his Z move that is because of his Fire MZ. Maybe we'll break that out in this episode. I'm not exactly sure what to expect here on this new island. Let's go in the Pokemon Center. We don't need to heal up. Actually, I think we probably should just so that we have this place set and we don't get teleported back to Akala. I don't know if that would happen. But just, just to be on the safe side, we'll go ahead and we'll stock up here. We'll talk to everybody. We'll see um, if there's any good stuff in there. We'll see if the cafe's got anything new. I'm a sucker for that. Seriously, I just got a Mewtwo through Wonder Trade. Dude, that's awesome. Those times when you do nothing at all and just lays about, it can be really beautiful. <laughs> you said it, girl. When your Pokemon evolve, do you think they feel like, yes, finally? So big that riding on Pokemon doesn't always cut it for everyone. A lot of people, there's a bus on this place? Holy crap. Alright, let's see. Nothing new at the Pokemart. Just the same old stuff. We're up to 60 grand, though. That's absolutely crazy. Let's buy some adrenaline orbs just in case we ever go shiny hunting. We'll go ahead and buy eight of them. In case we ever do any shiny hunting, and are we still, I think we should buy some hyper potions. I'll go ahead and buy 10. They're just so expensive. I feel like we should buy some Ultra Balls too, though. Go ahead and buy 10 of those. Buy 10 more. Man, we just burned through some money. Let's see what this guy's. Uh, oh, we can sell some stuff too. He's got TM, so let's see if he's got anything new. He's got some good, they're, oh my god, those are really good competitive moves. It's really cool how they're, I, I really like the TM system. I feel like maybe it's like that, and maybe this is just because it's my first time in competitive at all. But I feel like it's, um, what am I trying to say? It's a lot easier to, like, know where to get your... Where to get your team, where to get your competitive stuff, where to get your TMs, all that good stuff. Um, it seems like they they made it pretty pretty easy, and I think that's good. Um, because they are strictly against hacking and genning Pokemon and stuff. And I mean, which is as is their right. You don't you don't want why should they let hacked Pokemon be into their competitions and stuff? Um, I think for Wi-Fi battles on YouTube and that kind of thing, I think that's um, a different thing entirely. I feel like it's a totally separate issue. Um, but for com official competitions, of course, but not everybody has the time to breed an EV train, and, and that they're making it um, so much more approachable for new players and easier for experienced players, I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to dive into it, because I mean, I've only, I've only bred for like moves and IVs once. And I was going for a shiny too, and I never got the shiny. Um, here's Lily. Shadow, it's been a while since I last saw you around, but weren't you supposed to meet with the professor in Melee Garden? Can I get that Zygarde though? Nope. They're just gonna tease it. All right, so we gotta go meet with the professor. So let's see what this is all about. This place looks huge in itself. Melee Garden. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Melee Garden. I'll start my search from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge? Okay. How is so easily amused? Oh my god, okay. Uh, I think we should... Oh, we can't. We can't ride Salad. Why can't we? Of course all these people want to battle. I'm actually going to, though, because... 
we got blown back by how and who knows if the next person that we're gonna face is gonna be harder or easier than how it's really tough to say because he was not a problem for us at all up until this point can dr. sleep handle a cleffa I think so a level 26 cleffa Heck yes! Good job, dude! Alright. That was easy. It's just so funny to me, like, they make it this huge deal out of waiting until you're 10 or 11 to go on your Pokemon Island Challenge, and almost half of your time is facing preschoolers and, t and toddlers and youngsters. It's just funny. Let in. Don't don't really want to let in. The worst thing we we pretty much just have to attack everything because we're not going to be able to run away with Snorlax. And of course, we still can't one shot. We actually could run from that though. Kind of surprised. All right, so if we can't use what you call it. The water sure is clear here, huh? I wonder if the Pokemon are all hiding in the shadows of rocks or something. Oh, so we have to... What's happening? I guess we can't go that way. Rare bone. Not a rare bone. Not again. <laughs> Oh, Mallow must be nearby. Whoa! You guys, I've seen these in competitive videos, and this Pokemon looks amazing. Let's go for a hold back, because I don't want to kill it. I don't like spiders, but this Pokemon looks absolutely amazing. Bubble Beam's only doing 25 to Snorlax here. Holy crap. That's probably going to lower our speed. Oh, it just can't let us escape. Alright, one more. Bug Bite shouldn't hurt very much. Oh, of course, and now it's going to call for help. Please, no help. Please, no help. Alright, let's just try and catch this thing. It's on one. We're going to catch this thing no problem. In a great ball. It actually would look cool in an ultra ball. It's going to look cool no matter what. Araclinid. That is cool. I guess we'll go ahead and care for Snorlax this time. Since it's pretty rare, I don't know if I ever have, actually. I think he evolves from Dewpiter, or Dew Spider, whatever that thing's name is. Thing is cool. I can't wait to check it out. We're gonna call it Aragog. I know that's probably a cliche nickname. I don't care. I was considering actually let's name it Ron. That's what I was that's what I was leaning towards. Um just from Harry Potter, you know, Ron hates the spiders and they get told to follow the spiders. Um and Ron just absolutely hates it. So we'll name him Ron in honor of Harry Potter. Um where do you want to send Ron? Let's see Ron's summary. I think he's bug water. He's got to be bug water. Yep, water bug, spider web, bug bite, bubble beam, and water bubble. What's his ability do? Lowers the power of fire type moves done and prevents the Pokemon from getting burns. That's cool. He doesn't really fit on the team, um, but he is going to go into the box. That's for sure. That yeah, is for sure. He does not fit on our team. Snorlax takes up both screens. <laughs> You're kidding me, that is hilarious. Alright, let's go ahead and blow dry him. That is hilarious. How am I supposed to blow dry his hair? Or his head? 
I can't. What am I? Oh, there we go. I was like, what am I supposed to do? That's hilarious. This thing is huge. All right, Snorlax. You don't get very many of these. I'll give you a blue one. Why don't you eat it? There we go. One more. Give me this color now. All right. I didn't even pet him or anything. Kind of creeps me out how big he is. <laughs> Too weird. Don't need to do that again. All right. So now we can go this way. Is there something? There's got to be some stuff. Can we surf? No. There's got to be some stuff that we're missing. I don't know why you can't use Stoutland in here. That's kind of that's kind of crappy. We we'll just swore. What in the world is the seat of the pond in this garden? How am I supposed to know? Ooh, we can fish. Let's fish. Let's just see. We'll try one more time. This place is huge. Oh, nice. That's what I was low-key hoping for, was just to fish up a pearl. Alright, is this where we're supposed to go? Yes, it is. Is he sleeping? No. Oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? It sure did. Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened up like right in front of us and there really are Ultra Beasts in there. You gotta tell Professor Burnett too. Whoa, you got to see the Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? That is amazing. Oh yeah, sounds like an even better reason to train hard, yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll all be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. Alright, your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys can go ahead without me. I got a hot, hot date at a Malasada shop. I'll be waiting at the bus stop, Shadow. What's his voice? I lost his voice. Whenever you're ready to go, I lost it. I don't know why I have a hard time with his voice. <laughs> if you guys... I didn't read it, but I was like, Hey, Shadow, did you know? And I said, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I haven't even finished the question yet. <laughs> There's an observatory up on Mount Hokulani, and you know what they do is they do, and you do know what it is they do at an observatory, right? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. Now I'm out. Oh, how. Wow, that was funny. Rage Candy Bar, very cool. Designed by people who came here from Johoto. Which is cool. Best region. Can we, like, keep going? Oh, you guys. Psyduck. I have a Psyduck as my water type on my Pokemon Sun team right now, and I'm really, really not loving it. <laughs> like, you know how you're supposed to play through and like you pick a team and yeah, maybe you try and catch people that you don't always catch or whatever the case may be, you know, however you play the game is fine. But sometimes that's what I try and do, you know, like I'll try and pick people that I haven't played with before or that, you know, maybe they're not the greatest Pokemon or whatever. And, like, to try and foster some kind of bond, you know. That did not happen. I mean, that has not happened at all with Snorlax. I normally like Snorlax. Um, I'm just not crazy about him with this particular team. I feel like we could much do much better with a grass type. Um, that actually would actually be really useful. I don't know if we have a Fomantis in the, in the box. I'll have to check. Because that could actually be really useful. Go ahead and fish here. This means rare. But yeah, I just have not been getting very attached to my Psyduck over there. So I don't know what to make of that. A Goldeen. Just. 
I'm like, I'm pretty indifferent, especially to the Gen 1 Pokemon in this game. Um, I don't even, I don't want it, I don't want this. I don't know why, I think it's because like, I've been, I mean, I've been playing Oros and stuff, but the last game that I played through was Pokemon Blue. So I just saw all of these, um, there's a bug on me. I just saw all of these Gen 1 people. She wants to battle. I don't want to battle her. Where do we find a Lolan Executor? Not seen that yet. I feel like this could be the place. Oh, Zygarde's over here. We're only at 10% of that thing. Alright, so now we gotta dodge this girl. Nope. I only get lucky once. I only get lucky once. Okay. Sightseer Akali. She's got Eradicate. Man, I hate Eradicate. I don't like Eradicate very much at all. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Tired. Okay, sorry guys. Alright, it's not, it's just an Alola Raticate. What do we have that's super effective? Anything? Fighting. We need to use Cabrawler more anyways. Oh, I guess not. I didn't realize he was level 27. <laughs> for some reason I thought he was level 25. Alright, so we'll go for a power-up punch here. We're living that. We got to. We got this, crew brawler. Heart punch should hurt. And one more should kill. If we can live... We're not gonna live a Hyper Fang, though. We gotta... I don't think... Uh, this is tricky, because if he just keeps Hyper Fanging, he's gonna do 40 every time. Oh, good. He goes for Crunch. Okay. Now... Not that. Now we can power up punch. Perfect assurance. Radicate Hyper Fang is really good, you guys. Especially like, I mean, I'm sure it's probably not very good competitively, but playing through the game, Hyper Fang is powerful. Alright, we need to switch up who's out front again. Oh, never mind. I think all of our lowest guys are level 27. Oh my god, not another Raichu. All right, we're just gonna stay in here because we're plus two. So, oh, it's not a low line shoot. Okay, we're still just gonna go for the power up punch. We can live this. Yes, Cabrawler, break through this. This you don't care. You don't care. Yes. There's nothing. All right, but that this should definitely kill. But we can't live that, so we gotta heal up. We have to heal up. And you're gonna go for Thundershock again, that's fine. Ah, oh, he gets a crit! Oh my god, Raichu! Like, I literally have never considered Raichu a threat, but Raichu wrecks this team. He's only weak to ground, so we need a ground type. We could take a Mudsdale. We could take a... A grass type, either one of those over Snorlax would be the way to go. Come on, Crew Brawler, dude, you got this. Yes, he just goes for Tail Whip. We, you played yourself, Raichu. You played yourself. Does she have another Pokemon. I feel like she has one more. Crew Brawler gains 1,100 XP. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, my nose. Oh, she only had two. All right, oh, I felt that bug on me, guys, and now I just feel feel itchy and ugh, nasty. All right, so it looks like that might be all that's over here. There's a path over here, but it doesn't look like there's a bridge. Can we surf? No. Nope. So I don't know what that's about. But we'll just go ahead and get out of this garden, because I don't think we can go this way. Oh, maybe we can. 
Come on, Slowpoke, let's just take it easy, eh? Do you want to battle? Yes. That's okay, we need the experience right now. We need the experience. You guys, may, we might be pretty close to another another trial. Um, I know they said to go up to Route 10 and take the bus. I don't know if we're on, I think we should be, uh, after the city should be Route 10. So we will see. This thing is normal type, so we can just go out to Crib Brawler again. Is he in good enough shape? Yeah, he is. Oh, he doesn't have Power Up Punch activated yet. That's what I was thinking. I don't know why I did this right now. Uh, but we dodge a Screech, which is lovely. Let's go for Power Up Punch here. Faint Attack, that's going to make us flinch, is it not? No, it doesn't. Sweet. And that actually does a lot. Power Up Punch is a good move. Let's just go for another one. Hopefully we don't get fully paralyzed. Fell for the taunt. That'll be easy. I kind of like how the like the tourists just have the regular forms of the Pokemon. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool little... I don't know what's the word. Marowak. Ground. What's Marowak weak to? Water? Let's hope it's water. You got this, Skippy. It's just regular, right? Yeah, okay. Alolan Marowak, you guys, is awesome. Let's go for Bubble Beam. Might be enough. We're five levels above. That should kill. Nice. That was easy. Sparky hit up level 30. He's got to be close to evolving soon. He's got to. Alright. Is there anything good up here at all? Is this... That might be one of those stones you can, like, evolve Eevee by. I'm not exactly sure if that's a mossy rock or not. It's got to be. thing is huge. Alright. So that looks like it pretty much wraps up this park. Uh, it's still a little too early to wrap this episode up, so we'll explore this town a little bit more. We'll go heal up. we got to heal up our paralysis. Um, but we'll check out the town a little bit more. There's a cutscene right there. So maybe we'll do that instead of explore, I guess. We'll heal up real quick. And then we'll be good to go. Alrighty. Thank you, Nurse Joy. This is probably just Lily still. So let's see what she's got to say. Shadow, would you mind if I asked you something? You want to go to the ruins? Yep. Yes, I want to take Nabi to visit Ula Ula's ruins. But they're located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now I'm planning to visit Meili Library. There's a book I want to look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know that Meili, Meili Library is here within the city of Meili somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Okay, Lily. The strange creature was sucked into the Zygarde cube. Alright, so is that where we have to go? Next is the library. Professor! Oh, you guys. Why, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokedex? Never better. You guys. Oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak, Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be Shadow, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you be sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, all right? What do you think you're talking to? Of course I'm doing that. And you, Shadow, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow, fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it, and as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Melee Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the black brick road, meaning the patterns on these paths, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow that pattern and it'll get you there. 
What? Is there really patterns? Black circle, black triangle, black square. Oh. I guess there is. Alright. This place is huge. Hey there, whipper snapper, you blah blah blah, yes. Alright, well, I guess we'll go in a couple of these and check this place out a little bit before. This is just Mel Melissa. Don't care about the Malasadas. We're not how. We'll check out a couple of these shops before we wrap this episode up. This looks like I don't know. Welcome. Thanks for coming. What can we offer to you? I guess we'll eat. Each item costs four grand. Uh, let's take the samurai set. Here's the Z Kaisiki. Sorry to interrupt. The mixed vegetables seem to melt in your mouth when you bite into them. Each of the little musubi has a different topping and it's fun to pop each in your mouth. Thank you for your payment. This is our free gift to patrons. Whoa, four heart scales. Cool. Please come again. Okay. Dang, four heart scales. That's not bad. So a thousand bucks a heart scale. This is a salon, so we can just back out of here. Alola. Actually, let's talk to this cop. We can set you up with whatever kind of hairstyle. Blah, blah, blah. Nah. Just changing my hairstyle makes me feel like a whole new person. It's four grand. I don't... I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not spending four grand on a haircut, you guys. That's crazy. If you guys want to see me spend four grand on a haircut, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Can we use... There's got to be some hidden stuff around here. Let's just take a gander real quick. Nothing? Really? That's a recycling plant there, stranger. Just thought you should know. Huh, that's interesting. Alright, we don't want to go that way right now, though. There is a cutscene over here. I think I am just going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Oh, man, I triggered it. I didn't think I was going to. I guess we'll wait a second before we wrap it up. Shadow, I'm sorry. I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop, and I saw this outfit, and they said it was the last one, so I bought it, even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear it. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store if I just kept going. Yeek! Shadow, been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the tapu. So, Shadow, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually uh, studying the tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for your offer. I still don't know who that chick is. Shall we check out Melee Library first, though, since we're here? The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. These tales seem to su suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Alright, so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here, you guys. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. 
and all that good stuff. I think we might be kind of close to a trial battle. If not in the next episode, definitely probably the one after that. Um, I guess maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like we are. It's been a little while since the last one. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss it. That's going to go ahead and do it for me, though. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.